Um, my mixtape is called Bag of Dope vs. Screwmatic. Bag and of expl- Dope. Explain that title. Bag like, of Dope. Give us the whole concept. Bag of Dope is like for all the pill poppers. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm still young, so I still got to make the club music. I still got to make, you know, the street music for, you know, the streets, for, for people that just cope with everyday life and that just want to listen to something that make them feel good. This for the pill poppers. This for the strippers. Um, you know, just you know, drug of your choice. That's, that's that mixtape, the bag of dope. And it's just a bunch, it's a collective of dope music. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's what's going on right now. And then my Skrillmatic is my dedication to hip hop to let people know that hip hop still exists. It's um it's on a lyrical state of life. You know, just I'm just talking about things that's going on now. I'm just giving you bars that I'm I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna hear from a lot of artists in a while. But I'm I'm giving you some definitely different from the average music that's going on right now. And it, it's it's it, it's pretty it's it's overwhelming and it feels good at the same time because it's something different. So this is two different projects? Two different projects in okay. one. In one. Oh, in one. So it's Bag of Dope versus Screwmatic. So are you going back and forth with yourself or is it half one way and half the half other? Half one way, half the other. Simplicity is best. I don't want to confuse the people. Yeah, it, could, it sounds a little confusing at first, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it sounds confusing, but when you get it, you know, I got <clears throat> um, the Skrillmatic project, like say my cover for the Skrillmatic, I'll just give you that, the exclusive on that. Like I got a picture when I was a child with me and my brothers, and they got the Skrillmatic title on there, like the Illmatic Nas type vibe, and then the bag of dope is just a fly me, just me right now, you know? And, and I just always wanted to do something for hip-hop, that's all. So is this two separate <coughs> covers or all happening on one cover? Two separate covers. Two separate covers. One tape, two but separate covers. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's a little confusing. Nine nine songs on Scrimmatic, thirteen on Bag of Dope. So really <laughs> <laughs> But hey, but when you get it though and you hear it, you're gonna be like, Wow. So it's either you pick your drug of choice, bag of dope, a scrimmatic. One is gonna captivate you and sit you down. Now is there a release date for this? Um, right now, I'm gonna be honest, we I'd have had four release dates. But so many good things are happening for me, so I keep pushing it back because, you know, I have, like, real dope features, real, real dope features. And I just want to, I don't want to, you know, just hurry up and put it out there. I want to put out a project that's going to take over in now, a major way. Now, as far as features or production, is there anything you would like to share with us <sighs> um, that we can expect? I got some of the dopest producers. Young Land, 808 Mafia, Def on the beat, um, J Manifest. I got a, I got a few, few dope, dope producers, real dope producers, real dope producer features. I got Meek, Anthony Hamilton. Um, I got some other features that I probably won't end up putting out, like um, Rich Homie Quan, French Montana. I got, a, I got a nice, nice, nice lineup. But why I may not, not put all of them out though. Why not put some of those features out? Sounds. Uh, I want sounds the world good. to know me. I want them to see what you know. I can hold my own, and you know it's true I can, and I just want the world to see that. Like, how, 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 and I don't mean to cut you off, but how, is impor- how important is that? Because some artists, they drop a project full of features and some artists drop a project with no features or maybe one feature. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, I got Ross around me. I got some of the greats around me. Sam Sneak helped me with a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of people, you know, I got a lot of great stuff around me, but the world needs to know who I am. And I feel like a lot of features is like having a Phantom Rolls Royce. You just got a whole bunch of features with a nice car. You know, I don't need a whole bunch of features. People need to know what I can do. And then, you know, we can get on to that later on down in my career. I don't knock it, though. I love it. But for me personally, I just feel like the world needs to know me.